Hello, my name is Ronald Garwal. I am from Jirpai Gudi Government Engineering College. I am rated 4 star at Coach Chef. I am going to solve this problem, Lucy and the number game. Let's read the problem statement. Lucy had recently learned the game called Natural Numbers. The rules of the games are very simple. There are n players at the same time. Every player says one natural number. Let's call the number set by the ith player A of I. The person with the smallest unique number, that is the smallest number, was not set by anyone else wins. Means the problem is problem states that I need to find the unique numbers. Sometimes there is a case when there are no unique number at all. In, the, in that case, the game is obviously draw, so nobody wins. Sometimes it's hard to determine whether the winner, especially when the number of player is enormous. So in this problem, you your assignment will be given the names of the players and the numbers every of them have said. Please tell the name of the winner or determine that nobody wins. So here in the question, we are said to print the name of the player with unique number. Unique number means, actually it is smallest unique number. First, let us understand what is unique number. Here unique number means the number set by the player which isn't set by any other player. But when there are multiple players saying unique number, we need to print the smallest unique number. Means the name of the player which has set the smallest unique number. If if there are no players saying the unique number, then the match will be draw and we need to print that nobody wins. Now let's see what is given in the input. Basically in the input, they are giving t test cases and each test case will be followed by an n number of players and is the total number of players we are having. And the further n lines, we will have uh, name of the player and the number of a of i said number a of i said by her actually. Let's talk about the uh, constraint. There are four subtasks. In the first subtask, there are total number of 10,000 test cases followed by at, uh, followed by n ranging from 1 to 10, which means there can be at max of 10 players, which can further speak up to number ranging from 1 to 10. Means at max, there will be the speaker will be giving numbers from 1 to 10. Similarly, in the second subtask, all the things are same other than the number spoken by the players which will range from 1 to 2 into 10 to the power 9 and as it goes on further let's look at the test case here there are five number of players kota speaking the value 1 yuka speaking the number 1 mayo speaking the number 3 lucy speaking the number 2 and nana speaking the number 5 so from the by seeing the test case it is quite clear that 1 is occurring one, 2 times, 3 is occurring 1 time, 2 is occurring 1 time and 5 is occurring 1 time. So in the question it was clearly said that the player should tell the unique values only. And in the test case 1 is occurring 2 times. Kota is speaking is it and Yaka is speaking it. Yuka is speaking it. So we simply eliminate these values. This value cannot be the proper answer. Now we are left with three values. Now we are left with three values that are Lusa speaking the value 2, Maya speaking the value 3 and Anna speaking the value 5. Now in the question it was said if there will be multiple unique values we need to print the value, print the name of the player with the smallest value, smallest unique value. So here we can clearly see that Lucy is telling to which is the smallest unique value here. So Lucy is the answer here. Lucy wins and Maya and Anna lost. In this case, where there are two number of players, Lucy is picking the value 2, Nana is picking the value 2. Since in the question it was quite clear that we needed to print the unique numbers, we are not getting any unique number here because 2 is occurring 2 times and here we are only having 2 number of players. So here actually nobody wins and we need to print a string. We need to print a string nobody wins. Let's come to the approach now. In the question it was said that we need to print the smallest unique number. The first thing which comes to our mind is sorting. Because we can only get the numbers, smallest numbers by shorting it, it will become easier for us to find the unique number, uh, smallest number. 
suppose in this case ronak in which ronak is appearing uh, speaking one ais is speaking two risha is speaking two kamal is speaking two ravi is speaking four raj is speaking two ramam is speaking one rima is speaking four and arav is speaking three in this case how come are we gonna find the unique number so first we need to do is we need to store the numbers we need to store the data in that pair form we need to make a vector of pairs and we need to store it after that we are going to sort the array just in like this way see you can see this one i am not writing the names this is just for understanding after sorting the array the values would look like somewhat this now also we are not guaranteed that the first element will be the answer because it might be the smallest one but it is not the unique ones so how can we know that whether a number is unique or not we can do it in two ways either we can create a hash map we can count all the elements and if the count is one then we can say that this is the answer this element is the answer because since we are traversing from left to right we are getting the smallest value at first or we can do another thing is we can traverse through the array and see whether there adjacent any of the adjacent value like in this case in this one we can see the left part is containing a single one and right part is also containing one means there adjacent any of one of the adjacent is containing the same value means duplicacy is here now in case of 3 now in case of 3 we are going to check the left part it is 2 which is not equals to 3 which is not equals to 3 in the right part also we are going to check right part is 4 which is also not equals to 3 uh, which is also not equals to 3 yes so we hereby conclude that 3 is the answer now you can also say that there is a unique number 5 its left part is 4 which is also not equals to 5 so this also might be the answer but since it was said that we have two valid answers but since it was said that we need to print the answer with uh, name of the player with the smallest unique value we are going to go with number 3 so here the number 3 was spoken by arav so arav wins here and rest of the case everyone fails everyone loses the match so the question is quite simple now let's come to the code part here we declaring the integer t for the total number of test cases getting the input of it now we are running a loop for a loop of for test cases now we are calling a solve sol function here so in the solve function we are declaring a long long n variable for total number of players then we are declaring a vector of pair long long comma string of players actually we are storing the name of uh, storing the data of the players in value comma name format value comma long long comma string format and we are storing this pair in a vector similarly we have, we have taken the input of the name of the player and value spoken by him now we are storing the value of the players in value comma name format as said now we are sorting the array i told na in order to get the smallest unique number we need to first sort the array so we are sorting here now initially we are assuming that nobody wins so we are taking an answer variable and storing the value nobody wins now we are traversing through the loop from 0 to n means uh, 1 to index n Now we are maintaining, uh, we are declaring an integer uh, count variable with the initial value zero. This count variable is in order to check the whether the left part is equal or right part is equal. We need to check whether these parts are equal or not. If i greater than zero, this is only for the first element because i minus one it will give a error, runtime error. So that's why it is for i greater than zero. This case is we are only checking for i greater than zero. we are checking if the element is equal to equal to the left part we are doing a counter plus plus similarly it is this case is for the second last element because last element we don't have an index i plus 1 so it will again give a runtime error so we are again counting the right element we are checking whether the right element is equal or not and we are again doing a counter plus plus now if the counter is greater than equals to 1 then we know that it is not the unique element because either left or the right part is equal so we are leaving it but when the count of value is zero we know that this is the unique value because neither the left part nor the right part is equal 
so this is the answer and we are showing the answer in uh, showing the answer in the answer variable the players dot i dot second we store the name of the player now we are breaking the loop because we don't need to go further as we have got the smallest unique number now we are simply printing it suppose in this loop we didn't find any of the answer means we didn't find any of the unique number the answer was initially in a, initialized at nobody means so it is going to print that only now this is the correct answer this is the correct code according to code chef let's talk about the space complexity and time complexity space complexity is o of n because we are storing the value vectors of pairs of n players in name and uh, in value and name format we are talking about time complexity o of n plus o of n for two traverses one for taking the input and other for checking the duplicacy and o of n log n for shorting because in the best case we can short a vector or array in o of n log n time then approximately it will take o of n log n time thank you